What's up, Spud Nation? Hey, the weekend's here already. Wow, did this week fly by. Been a busy week for the sports coach. Let me clue you in on what's been going down. We have clothing now. T-shirts, hoodies, great price to get them at. T-shirts, 15 bucks a piece. That includes shipping. Also, hoodies, 25 bucks a piece. That includes shipping. It's got a great design. We got great colors available. I'm trying like crazy to get the shop open on Facebook. If you are interested in sports coach gear, hit me up, Craig at thesportscoach.com, right on Facebook, anywhere you have it. I'm getting one big, huge pre order in to get this thing rolling. Hit it up, Spud Nation. It's all about you. It's got cool ass shirts on there. The design is pretty sweet. It's what my little profile picture is on Facebook. Check it out. I know you'll like it. Also, last night, the guys at the Fox Valley Grappling Club, they opened their doors, got four great interviews in there. I'm going to be sponsoring, representing a few of the fighters in there coming up on a February 26th event. They're going to be repping the shirts. Friends, family, anyone that you know follows MMA. It's a great MMA design. Hit it up. All right, we're going to get going. Weekend edition, Sports Coach, Spud Nation, all for you. Here we go. Starting with NCAA basketball. There's some big games this weekend. Jumping right to Saturday. Syracuse, Louisville. Syracuse is tumbling and tumbling fast. they got to get some traction going. Syracuse is a very good team, that 2-3 zone. But it seems like the entire Big East, they know how to beat the zone. So, Louisville. Louisville's M.O. is they can shoot the ball. They play great defense, a lot of pressure, push the pace, they can shoot the three. I think they're going to give Syracuse fits. It's in Louisville. Look for Louisville to get a big win over Syracuse. Next, talk about home court advantage. Kentucky going into Vanderbilt. You know it's hard to play in that stadium. That's crazy in there. Coaches down on the end line rather than the sidelines. It's a whole new dimension. Kentucky is young. Look for Vandy to spring the upset over Kentucky. Kentucky's the more talented team, but that youth, they're going to have to really shine to win on Vandy's home court. Look for Vanderbilt to win at home. Very tough atmosphere. North Carolina going into Clemson. North Carolina coming off. A humongous game. They played Duke really well last night. Very proud of the Tar Heels. I'm a North Carolina fan. I love them. And, of course, being a Tar Heel fan, I can't like Duke. But my hat's off to Duke. They came storming back in that second half. Played a phenomenal game. Seth Curry, I love you and your brother. Great players. You killed my Tar Heels. Big game, though. North Carolina, they're going to be... A better team because of the loss. I hate to say that, but they're going to be a better team because of it. Losing to a very good Duke team, what are you going to do? Harrison Barnes, he is still a work in progress. Definitely learning as the game goes. Clemson, it's going to be a tough game for North Carolina. Clemson's very good at home, but coming off that game against Duke, you got to think North Carolina can play in any building, anywhere, against anyone North Carolina going to get the win over Clemson, keeping them right on track to possibly get an ACC championship title this year. Baylor. I love Baylor. Such a long athletic team, that zone. They should be giving team, teams fits this year, but it's just not happening. They're playing Texas. Texas. Right now, I'm giving the nod as one of the best teams, if not the best team, in all of college basketball. I was saying this a couple weeks ago, even before ESPN hopped on their bandwagon. I beat you to it again, ESPN. What can I say? Spud Nation, you follow me. We're going to get this right. Texas' defense is just a ton for teams to handle. Their defense turns into offense, and they're just a phenomenal team when they defend. They have their hands full, though. Baylor, Perry Jones, he's looking like a top five draft pick. And, of course, Lace Darius Dunn, dude, can fill it from anywhere. I love it. 
Texas is going to win. It should be a great game, but Baylor, they continue to disappoint game in and game out. Pittsburgh going into Villanova. Villanova, what is going on? Villanova is known for their pushing the pace, get the shots up. But Pittsburgh, they're like a little bulldog. They get in there, they'll scrap with you. Eh, it's on the road, but Pittsburgh going to get a big victory in the Big East. And the game of the day, Saturday, Ohio State going into Wisconsin. Wisconsin, tough as any team can be playing at home, but they're taking on the number one team in the nation, Ohio State, Jared Sullinger, David Lighty. Ohio State's just going to be too much for the Badgers. I just I have no faith in Wisconsin, just not athletic. Who's going to bang with Jared Sullinger down in the paint? Wisconsin's got some big bodies they can rotate in, but it's going to take a tremendous shooting performance for Wisconsin to get a win over the number one team in the country. Going back to ESPN, they're all predicting Wisconsin to win this game. Stick with Ohio State. Ohio State, they've been squeaking by victories, but that's a sign of a very good team. This should be a phenomenal game, should be a slow-paced game, just an all-out battle in the Big Ten. Ohio State with the victory. Sunday, a couple games I'm interested in, the Big East. Marquette going into Georgetown. I am a big-time Marquette supporter. Georgetown on a roll right now. Won like eight games in a row. Of course, Marquette's running into a buzzsaw. They play every team tough right down to the wire. They just can't get over the hump. And they're going to run into the same problem against Georgetown. Georgetown going to win at home. And the last game I'm interested in on Sunday, Providence going into UConn. It should be a blowout win for UConn. But again, they continue to struggle. Thursday night's loss to St. John's. Showing UConn that they just keep, they're stumbling. They're rolling down the hill and they gotta stop the tumble right now. Can Providence pull the upset? I'm sticking with UConn, but it should be a great game to watch. All right, heading over to uh, Cam Newton. Cam Newton is now working out. Well, Technically, he didn't invite scouts, GMs, anyone like that. But he's filming it all. He's going to mail it all out. Well, thank you, Cam. The one guy that was there that everyone is putting all their eggs in his basket, Trent Dilfer. And he says Cam Newton's stock is going through the roof. Cam Newton's an absolute winner. He's athletic. He can play quarterback. He can take a beating. And he leads his team to victory. Whether they're down 40 or up 40, he is a very stable presence back there. Cam Newton's going to do great things. Arizona Cardinals, let's see if you slip up in the draft and don't take Cam. We'll see. I'm not sold on Blaine Gabbert. Roll the dice on Cam Newton. All right, the last thing we're going to hit on Spud Nation, the NBA. A couple big stories going on. Jerry Sloan, after 23 years of coaching in the NBA, he says, peace out. He's done. His assistant coach... He leaves with them. I love that. Such a great sense of unity between those two. They came in together. They left together. Great job. Great career, Jerry Sloan. You've had a bunch of good teams. And it's going to be weird looking at the Utah Jazz without Jerry Sloan on the bench. Ray Allen, this just in, Ray Allen can shoot the ball. He broke Reggie Miller's three-pointers made uh, record tonight. So congrats, Ray. I love this guy, such a pure stroke, and he doesn't seem to be aging at all. Keep it up, Ray. Keep chucking the ball from wherever you are on the court. And the last thing, don't get too excited out there, Spud Nation. Michael Jordan is now practicing with the Charlotte Bobcats. Yeah, he's running with the third team, but he's out there. They say he's still playing hard. He can still shoot the lights out, and it would just be really fun to see MJ Anywhere in a basketball arena. Yeah, I know he's, a, he's an owner, part owner of Charlotte. But I would love to see that dude step on the floor and get out there and do what he does. Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time. Very fun to watch. Made me fall in love with North Carolina. And it could make anyone fall in love with the game of basketball. Hats off to Michael Jordan. Keep it up. And I can imagine... 
the stuff that the Charlotte Bobcats are learning on the fly with you out there on the court with them. Spud Nation, it's been a great show. Enjoy your weekend. Monday's Valentine's Day. Make sure you get your sweetheart something. You know what? This guy, it's his birthday on Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. What a sweetheart. Anyway, Spud Nation, enjoyed you. Have a great weekend. Till next time, we're out.